Right now, this is uh, Ufi. Uh, hope everyone's doing great. Hope you enjoyed your New Year's Eve. taro is ready so I'm gonna add some this is co uh, coconut milk I'm gonna use olive oil in here to cook our chick our chicken we have our uh, onions Bean noodle, we're going to put into our water here to soak. So we have our lilia, we have our noodles. And we're going to put that down aside while we cook our chicken. Okay. Guys, let's add our garlic here. I, I just want to season the meat. And so that's why I'm going to... So this is garlic pepper garlic powder and in here I, I like this seasoning it's um, this is basil brown and uh, up. so we got the loo here got the loo so we're gonna go ahead and rinse it really really good rinse it really really good Break it. Just break the stem off, okay? Just put them in a pile by size, okay? So you got the large size and you got the small size of loo. So here's the large size, here's the small size of loo. Let's go ahead and check on our chicken. Okay, so in here we'll go ahead and add some garlic, minced garlic. We'll put in two, two tablespoons of garlic. I love garlic in my sapsui. I think it makes a really big difference with the flavor is having um, garlic in there. Give that a good mix with the garlic. Yeah, in there already. And just chopping them up. I had to strain it into this bowl. Uh, strain the water out. But I cut, everyone does it differently. And this is how I do it. I cut it here before I put it in. So. And that just soaks in the juices of the chicken and the the, the oil that you cooked it in and um, I don't usually I usually just eyeball but because of video purposes we'll go ahead and use measurements so I just put in two cups of of soy sauce to go ahead and add a cup of water
give that a good mix. Get those noodles into the juices. And after that, we'll put in the vegetables. Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and give that a good mix. Okay, let's add in our vegetables. And you can use any vegetables you want. The, um, the typical vegetables that peas, carrots, and corn. I actually like cauliflower um, and broccoli. But it is pretty much done. The the uh, the vegetables are already cooked. It's just uh, it just needs to steam. And just remember that the soy sauce has enough salty flavor in it. So you really you can either add some more. Just give it a taste. have literally soaked up the water so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is add a stick of butter into our sapasui and this is after it has already soaked up all the juices and and everything so we're gonna stick that in there and and what it's gonna do is gonna give it a delicious flavor and also moisten Moisten it. Delicious sapasui. We're gonna go ahead and cook our sipi. So, already have it chopped up. We'll add some salt. Um, I like using uh, Himalayan pink salt. Pepper. Some garlic, garlic powder. So just any seasoning you want. We'll go ahead and let it uh, cook up. Guys, let's go ahead and check our CP, our lamb, lamb flaps. Um, and it doesn't have to be completely cooked because it's gonna go into the loo and cook again in the oven. Okay. Guys, I'm cutting the tomatoes for our loo, okay? Okay guys, almost done, getting some onions. Here's the biggest one on the bottom, and then just layer it with the smallest on the top. And look at this, it doesn't have to be perfect, just uh, just get that loo on and it'll be a perfect loo. Okay, all right. So right here, uh, loo, or you can get it underneath the, the foil, however is easiest. I get my hand under the loo and just cup it up, kind of wrap it up and cup it like that. Meat in there. So let's get some of that meat. So get that in there. Like so, okay, that's good. I think a handful full is good. Mix that onion and tomato together. Get a handful of that onion and tomato in there. Just put it right on top of your meat. And you might want to grab some more of the loo and, and uh, just make a cup like that. See? or just in a, get a grip of, of it all the way around and then you're going to pour your coconut milk 
So just uh, wrap that up. Okay, wrap it real good. Just get your foil. Use the foil to support you from closing that up. Another one to seal it really good. One down, so let's get in there. Okay, let's get our sepia in there. About a cup is good. And get like a cup of our tomato and onions. And then Try to get a really good grip and hold that while we pour the coconut milk inside. This one has a lot of loose, so I want to like try to get as much uh, coconut milk in there that'll hold it. Mm. Okay, let's go ahead and get the uh, foil to support, close that up. It's like you're wrapping a present. Okay, and close it up. Close it really good. Okay, so we got two down. Okay. Look at all the loo in here. It's a lot of loo. Okay, so let's put this one together. one more loo so we can fill this one up so that's like two cups in there and same with the this just go ahead and pack it in because we only have one more loo to go unless we make another one okay so get it in really good and then pour your coconut milk And seal it really good. Seal it really good. And if it's full like this, just you you just need to just grab your your foil and and use it to seal it. Okay, use it to close it up. And don't be like, you really have to get in there to, you really have to get in there. The other one, seal it. I think I'm gonna get a third uh, foil. Let me get another foil. That one's pretty big. Make sure everything's all sealed. Okay. And I've already uh, preheated the oven. Just, uh, okay, so let's get. Yeah, we'll just fill this all up. Filling that up really good. Okay. 
Okay, get the foil, use it to seal it. If it starts coming out on the side, grab it and just pull it back in. sealed in. Okay, we're going to stick this in the oven and we'll be right back.